quizzes, all quizzes. The officer spoke well in the spirit. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing well, sir. Right. What's your name? Joshua, sir. Joshua? Yes, sir. You're Levi? Uh, actually, Judah. Judah, yes, all sir. All quizzes, all right. Uh, my name is Officer Lacroix. Hello, officer. Uh, like the brother was explained to you, uh, we saw your fringes and stuff like that. Yes, sir. All right, so any other questions that you have? Well, uh, I was really good. Maybe not Let me ask you first, how long have you known you, you, you're Israelite? I would say about two and a half, three years. Two and a half and three years. Yes, so sir. who did you learn it from? Well, when I was 17, my father showed me the scripture Deuteronomy 28. 28. Okay. In uh, 68. I think that's it. Deuteronomy 28, 68. We got second Thessalonians 2. Go ahead, go ahead. And um, I started pondering from then, okay. but... the. Within the past three years, I was seeing, I've seen IUIC. Yeah, right, well, so from 17, man, three years, man, you more than you more than 20 years old, man. What happened, man? Well, you know what? Come on, man. You went back into the world. Well. And then you was doing your thing. I was. So now the most is calling you back now. Yes, sir. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. Yes, sir. That's your calling right now. So the Lord is giving you a second chance now. Listen, get your, your stuff together or you, I'm going to kill you. Yes, sir. It's very simple. You see that you repent or you're going to die. I read that. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. See that? This is Paul talking. The, no. the Messiah is coming back. Christ is coming back. Right okay, here we don't. By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And by our gathering together. You see that? By our gathering together. That's a law. You see what I'm saying? That's a law. Christ got it on the Sabbath. Right? Because that's a law. Now, who who you studying with? Actually, I just Zephaniah 201. Watching videos, right? With you guys and okay, and actually researching it to know that hey, that that's real. So then, how you know it's real? Because I what the spirit bears witness. Because there's a lot of Israelites that have the Bible. A lot of people is teaching the Bible. Yes, sir. You you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. What makes you an Israelite? I was born an Israelite. I'm saying what makes okay born an Israelite? Yes, sir. What makes you an Israelite? I mean, I mean, from your forefather, I understand that part, you yes. know what I'm saying? But there's um, criteria to prove that you're an Israelite. I'm going to show you that. Read that. Oh, Zephaniah chapter 2 oh, and verse 1. Yo. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says you blacks and you Latinos to gather yourselves together. Me. Right. Yay. Gather together, O nation, not desire. You blacks and you Latinos. You are the only nation on the planet Earth that is not desired. No, no, I have nothing to do with you. That's right. They don't invite you in their business making. They don't invite you in their deal, deals making. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's right. They move far away from you. Read. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth. The decree is the order from, Christ, from God. He's going to send Christ to come back and deliver you so-called blacks and you Latinos because you are the Israelites That's of the right. Bible. That's That's right. Right. The decree is that that war is coming. Terror, nuclear destruction is coming to this place. So if you don't repent, you're going to die. That's right. This is why we are here. To gather yourself together under the laws of God as an Israelite. Read that again. From the top. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh nation not desire. That's a law in the Bible. Which you blacks and you Latinos do not know. Because your churches are not teaching you that. That's right. Your churches are not teaching you the Bible. So get out of these churches. Bring it up. Listen to Crest Dollar and PD Jakes. They are not for you. They're for their own packets. Right. They are lying to you. Read. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as the shaft. The day pass as a shaft, meaning that everything is going to be burned. Every single thing in the United States is going to be burned. Every last thing you see here is going to be burned. Bring it up. So the Lord is sending us here to tell you blacks and you Latinos. You are the Israelites of the Bible. You are the people of God, the chosen people of God. You know when I walk through the Red Sea with Moses. Christ is a black man according to the Holy Bible. You are the greatest people that ever walked the planet Earth. It is time for you to wake up out of sleep. 
Romans 13, 11. You got point that? That's a little more, that's a little more. My brother, this is the, the job the Lord wants us to do is you need to come back and get yourself together and help guide the culture of Israel. That's our job. That's the reason why you see all these brothers are here. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Before the day of the Lord come upon you. The day of the Lord is the second return of Christ. That's right. That's the day of the Lord. The second return of Christ is coming with fire. That's what the Bible says. Christ is coming with fire. Christ is not happy that the so-called white man posted as him. Bring it up. According to the Bible, the Jews are black. We. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. No. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. The Bible says knowing the time, now it is high time. When you read Matthew 24, Christ gives us the timeline. He said, when you see these things happening, know that I'm at the door. Now the time is for you to wake up out of sleep, black man. And you will claim what belongs to you. The whole plan of hell belongs to you. It's time for you to wake up out of sleep. We. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Your deliverance is near. Yes, sir. You brought in Latinos, you are still in slavery. You are not free. Bring it out. You only have liberty to go from work to your house, but you're not free. Right. You are still in captivity. Bring it out. <laughs> Look what happened to the government shutdown. Right. Who do you think suffer the most? Uh -huh. Bring it out. You black people suffer the most because you didn't get your footstep. That's right. Section 8 is out of life. That's right. You are still slaves. It is time for you to wake up out of sleep and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God. That's right. Your oppression is in the Bible. Yes, the reason that you're suffering is because you break God's law. Right. Right. So God puts you in slavery or captivity. Not because you're, you're black or you're a nigga. It's because you are disobedient to God's law. That's right. Read. That's right. That's right. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Cast off the works of darkness and who is sin. Homosexuality is sin. That's right. Women right. are in pants that sin. That's right. All right. Work of darkness. Let me get Galatians 5 and 19. Bring it out. That's right. Work of darkness. This is what our community is full of. That's right. Wickedness, murdering, hatred, drug dealing among ourselves, black and black crime. We can't blame the white man for that. That's right. We cannot blame the white man for that. That's our fault. It is. So you need to repent and come back to these laws. Read. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Bring it up. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. See, this is the work of darkness. That's God is telling you what it is. We. Which are these? Adultery. Adultery. Our community, the black community, the Latin community is full of what? Adultery. Right. The black woman cannot keep her pants up. I mean, her skirt up. Her skirt down, I mean. The black man cannot zip his uh, zipper to keep his thing in. We sleep with each other's wife. That's adultery. God says an adult was supposed to die, but you can't repent under Christ. Christ died for our sin, so you can't you can repent. Read that again. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery. Adultery, read. Fornication. Fornication. Sex without marriage. Fornication. Read. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Uncleanness. When you lay down with another man, that's unclean, brothers and sisters. That's right. Lasciviousness. Covering. Taking things that don't belong to you. Killing your own brother for what he has. We. Verse 20. Idolatry. Idolatry. Stop worshiping a white Jesus. That's right. According to the Bible, Christ is a black man. That's right. Stop worshiping Allah. That's right. Allah is a, is a stone. That's right. That's, That's idolatry. Right. That's right. You worship in the moon and the star. That's idolatry. That's right. You go to church on Sunday. That's idolatry. That's right. That's right. You worship in the sun. That's what it calls Sunday. The day of the sun. Bring it out. The 
Christ is now your, our culture. The Bible is our, is our laws, statutes, and commandment. That's your constitution, black man. That's right. We. Witchcraft. Hatred. Variant. Sit down, sit down again. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. You're stealing drugs, that's witchcraft. You're smoking drugs, that's witchcraft. You actually destroy your own neighborhood. You don't see that? You send them drugs to your own people, you're killing your own self. Abortion. When you kill, that's murder. That's murder. Your church is not going to teach you that. Christ is not going to tell you that. Because you want your 10%, which is against the law of God. Tithing is not money. Read. Hatred. Variant. See, hatred. Black on black crime, that's hatred. You sell a drugs to your brother, that's hatred. You sleep with your sister, and you're not taking care of the baby, that's hatred. Yes, right. When you marry a black woman, that's hatred, brothers. That's right. You hate your own people. That's right. So that you have nobody else to, to, to blame but you. How you doing, brother? My brother. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I ask you a question? No. You see that? If you was rapping, if you was rapping and dancing and cooling, you would stop, right? See, that's hatred right there. Yes, sir, it is. With speaking the word of God, with young black men talking for our people, you just want pass right by. They don't care. You see what I'm saying? We. Emulations. Wrath. Strife. See that? Wrath and strife. Black men is killing each other because you step on your sneakers. Yes, sir. Wrath. You understand what I'm saying? Leviticus 19, 17. So that's why we are here. This is our job. So the job is big. So Israel is kind of toward the four corners. So the Lord wants you to repent and gather yourself together. You cannot do it as an individual right. You understand what I'm saying? So you never come over with nobody else? No, sir, I'm not. Yeah, okay, good. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Listen up, black man. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible says you black men, you're not supposed to hate your brother in your mind. That's what is that's that's the reason why we're in the condition that we in. We hate one another. We cannot get together. All the nation come in your neighborhood, they took over your neighborhood. You don't own no stores in your neighborhood. You don't own nothing in your neighborhood. The Chinese is not saying you fried chicken. Are you telling me that the black woman cannot, cannot fry better chicken than the Chinese man? So why is it your neighborhood is full of Chinese, Chinese stores? Bring it up! Why? Because you blacks cannot get together. Because we hate one another. We don't want to take heed to the word of God. You understand? We. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So the Bible says we're supposed to rebuke our neighbor. Maybe that we're supposed to correct them. When they're going off, they're going wrong. We're supposed to use the Bible, the word of God, to correct them. This is what we're doing out here. They don't like it? Too bad. Because we have a job to do what we're going to do it. And that's what we're doing right now. Whether they want to hear it or they want to hear it, that's their problem. Because when the Lord comes back, a lot of them is going to die. The Bible said every two out of three black people is going to die in America. Because they hate God. They hate God's law. You understand me? And not suffer sin upon him. See, we're not supposed to suffer sin. That's love. What we're doing here is love to our people. You understand? We are suffering sin to be under. Today is the Holy Sabbath of the Lord. Everybody is doing their own thing. Whatever, whatever they feel like it. Why? Because they have liberated this country. Because this country hate God. You understand what I'm saying? They don't love God. They hate God. So that's why the most I stand us to gather ourselves together before the decree comes. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Ephesians 4 is at 12. Endeavoring the unity. Okay? 3 and 12. Four and three, all right. That's that's what we're supposed to be doing, because we ha we don't love each other. There's no love between the black man and the black woman. A hug and kisses is not love. That's right. They don't know what love is. We're gonna show you what love is in a minute. Read Ephesians chapter four and verse three. Read endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. See that endeavoring, endeavoring means fight to keep the unity. Unity. Bring it up. Something a black never do not know. Unity. Right. To be one. 
one mind, one accord, one spirit. Under Christ, the black Messiah. Where our unity is? Yo, you get yours and I get mine. That's it. That's not unity. Unity is we come together, we keep in these laws, then we work together and move on, move up. Until we do that, we're not going nowhere. Bring it up. We are not going anywhere. Because anywhere you go, in the black community, the black men is where? In the street corners. That's right. Selling drugs, selling nooses. Hung out on, 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 on alcohol. You understand? Everywhere you go, you go to New York, same thing. Chicago, same thing. LA, same thing. Everywhere you go, the black man is in poverty. Why are you in poverty, black man? The answer is in the Bible. God calls you to be in poverty because you are disobedient. Read that. Verse 4. Read that again. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. See that? Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. What is the spirit? What is the spirit? The spirit is the word of God. He's the word of God. Yes, so we're supposed to fight to keep that. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? One of the ways of keeping it is gather ourselves together yes, on the Sabbath day. Yes, you understand? Which our people don't know nothing about. You understand? Because the, uh, America does not care about God's law. You understand? They say, do as you feel. Do as you think. Do what you like. Whatever you feel good, just do it. But there's repercussion behind that. Because the, the, the wages of sin is what? Death. Is death. You understand? Yes, sir. Read. In the bond of peace. In the what? In the bond of peace. In the bond of peace. We keep marching, no justice, no peace. How, how are you going to march for no justice, no peace to a people that stole a land? They're murdering over 100 million of American Indians to stole the land. Then you're going to march to them and ask them for peace. You're going to ask them for justice. Before you get justice, they have to first give this land up to the North American Indian. Give it up. Then they got to pay you reparation for over 400 years of free slave labor. That's right. Then you could talk about justice. Bring it up. You can't get justice from, from a thief and a murderer. That's right. This is not a hate campaign. We bring out the truth. It's recorded in the Bible. Right. right. Isaiah 51, uh, 20. This is where you find every black man. It's recorded in the Bible. We're reading black history. That's your history, black man. It's in the Bible. The, black, the Bible is a black man book. It was written by your forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Those are your forefathers, black man. You belong to the nation of Israel. That's who you are, that's who you be. You are not African American. No. You are not Haitians. You are not Jamaicans. You are the children of Israel. That's right. We, your brothers, excuse me. Brothers, come here for a second. I want to ask you a question. Come here. Yo, come here, man. Come here. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. The Bible says, Your sons have fainted, black man. Latin men, your sons, our sons, have fainted. Mean that they have passed out. When you faint that you pass out, you don't know what's going on. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. The Bible says the black men lie at the head of every street. Am I lying, brothers? Excuse me. Sir, my man over there, come in for a second. Come in for a second. I want to ask you a question real quick. Come in for a minute. We read in the Holy Bible. Read that again from the top. Verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. The Bible says the black men have fainted. You have passed out in slavery. We. They lie at the head of all the streets. The Bible says the black man is lie, lie at the head of every street corners with no purpose. He doesn't know what to do. The black man is in the street does not know what to do looking for a purpose. Yes, right. Well, your purpose is here, black man. Your purpose, the, the only reason why you was created was to serve God. That's your purpose.
trying to make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew, it's how odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.